And to discuss this further, we're being joined by Mohan Das Pai, who's the chairman of Arun Capital Partners. He's joining us live from Bengaluru. Welcome to World Business Sports, sir. Thank you. Thank now, you. How do you expect capital expenditure to evolve in the upcoming budget, sir, given that this is a major factor in fueling India's economic growth? Well, first, let us, let us look at the economy. We are mm -hmm. $3.6 trillion as of March 24. But this year, we may cross $4 trillion. There's a 95% probability depending upon the rupee dollar rate. The economy is in great shape. The banks are in great shape with very low NPA, very high profits. And last year, we invested more than a trillion dollars in CapEx as a country, of which the government put in nearly $250 billion. Now, in the, uh, this year, we're supposed to grow maybe 7.5. We could cross 8 uh, because the first quarter has been very good and government revenues are up, income tax is up maybe 22-23%, which is very good. The GST has gone up. So revenues are going to go up. So if you look at the budget, there is an increase in revenue for the government already because the Reserve Bank of India is giving a dividend of 2.11 lakh crores as against 50,000 crores, I think, budgeted, plus the dividend. So they may get an excess 2 lakh crores more as a non-tax revenue because of the RBI dividend and <coughs> more dividend from the public sector. So the revenues are going to go up. Tax collection may go up by another 1 to 1.5 lakh crores compared to the budget. So revenues are going to go up by maybe 3 to 3.5 lakh crores. And that is very, very good. Uh, so that thing, CapEx was budgeted 11 lakh crores. And I think it may go up by another 1 lakh crore, 12 lakh crores, because it is not uh, increasing CapEx as important. What are the absorption capacity of the economy? Mm. You must remember that a lot of the CapEx happens in the states too. Mm. And the states don't have the capacity because the first quarter is gone because of the election. Even in the national level, the first quarter has not been very, very uh, great for CapEx. So I think we've got three quarters. So can the economy absorb? It's not a question of money as much as the economy absorbing. Second, I think the budget being the first of the next five years has to tackle a very serious problem that of a lack of purchasing power in rural areas. 50% of India depends on agriculture and uh, rural area. Their income, per capita income, is only 73,000 rupees because they depend on agriculture, as against 2 lakh rupees for the whole economy. And I think we require a DBT, whereby possibly for about 10 crore women uh, who get the free gas or a subsidized gas, there's 100 million women, the government transfers 2,000 crores a month to give them purchasing power. I think a direct injection of cash at the bottom of the pyramid to improve yes. purchasing power and to take care of the restive rural population requires. So we're going to see a big social program mm. in uh, giving a DBT, in uh, transfers for housing, improvement in water and everything else to make sure that the impact is felt. And on the taxes, I would think that the middle class has got a raw deal over the last five years. They suffered uh, heavily because of inflation and high um, you know, high taxes, they require a tax break. I expect a simplification of the tax structure for them because all the tax breaks that the government gave in the last two, three years were a chimera. They gave a lot of breaks for housing, but only 10 million or one crore people have housing loans and about uh, seven to eight crore people pay as, as taxes on their salaries. So I think that has to expand. I think so it's going to be a, Mr. a, a defining budget yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm getting your point, sir. I'm, you did mention, of course, uh, that, you know, absorption of this capital expenditure is also going to be playing an equally important role. It's not just increasing CapEx. What role do you feel the private sector will be playing in supporting the government's ambitious infrastructure plans? I think the private sector will be going all out because the private sector debt has come down. The total profitability of the corporate sector, listed and unlisted, <laughs> Is 15% of GDP, pre-tax profit is 15% of GDP. That's very high. In the last two years, they got uh, pre-tax profits about 85 lakh crores. That's a trillion dollars. They paid back the debt, they invested. So I think they will also invest. Mm. Invest for maintenance capex, for expansion. And even in the infrastructure, you are seeing the road companies have better balance sheets. They're going to bid more aggressively. But the problem is government is not uh, tendering out more roads. That's the problem. The problem is the tending process for roads has come down. Mm. The railways are chugging along with capex, but uh, the absorption capacity seems to be limited. Mm. Uh, many projects are behind schedule. Even if you talk to the big construction companies like LNT, they say there's a problem or shortage of labor. Can you believe it? In a country where people say there's increasing unemployment, there's a shortage of labor all around for construction and for infrastructure. So I think the key for this year is going to be how much can the economy absorb in terms of spending not the total quantum of spending. We have to increase absorption capacity yeah. of spending 
We're also going to see more foreign foreign investment come in. Uh, the market, the capital markets are doing reasonably well. Huge amount of money is coming in from the local market. So even the foreign capital does not come is okay. Private equity is going up. Now with the interest rate scheduled to come down in the US, there'll be outflow of money. Mm. So I think this is going to be a very good year, but we want a great budget, yes. uh, which uh, eases the path for investment, for job creation. Because the budget should focus on job creation. Yes. Creation of jobs, well-paying jobs. Because jobs are the number one priority for India. And definitely. Because the, we have about... Uh, yes, the private yeah. sector will be going all out to make the most of this. And of course, absorption, as you mentioned, is going to be a key issue. And of course, uh, you know, shortage of labor is one concern. While reports suggest that there is rising unemployment, a lot of these reports don't stem from India anyway. But uh, thank you so much for joining in, Mr. Mohandas Pai, and sharing all your, uh, all your insights. Uh, that was Mohandas Pai, Chairman RN Capital Partners, joining us live from Bengaluru.